Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ahmad Atif from Minority Heliopolis Language Schools and today I'll be revising with you how to write an essay. Dealing with everything related to the essay, starting from the introduction, the body paragraphs and the conclusion. So let's get started. Firstly, what's an essay? An essay is a piece of writing that usually has five or more paragraphs. An essay is written about one topic that has several main points. The main points are introduced in an introductory paragraph and supported in body paragraphs. And the conclusion is the last paragraph. So we can say that an essay consists of introduction and whatever the number of the body paragraphs and reaching the conclusion. Let's have an overview of an essay. Firstly, as we said, the first part is yes. Introduction. In the introduction, we have some general statements and information about the topic. And also, we've got the thesis statement that lists the main ideas in the essay. Also, we've got the body. Here, it consists of three paragraphs. And the body paragraphs support the main ideas of the thesis statement and begin with topic sentences. And the last part is the conclusion in which we offer brief summary of main points uh, of the essay. Also we have the sandwich method. Essays like sandwiches or burgers consist of different parts or layers which are here introduction, body and conclusion. So let's deal with the first part which is the introduction. An introductory paragraph is the first paragraph in an essay and it consists of two parts. Part one, which is the general statements, which are a few sentences about your subject that catch the attention of your reader. Also, we've got a thesis statement. This is one sentence that tells your reader the main points of your topic and the states of overall plan of your essay. Then we've got the body. The body consists of one or more paragraphs following the introduction. This depends on your topic. Each paragraph supports the main idea of your essay by breaking it down into smaller ideas or subtopics. Each body, each body paragraph consists of a topic sentence supporting sentences and a conclusion sentence which draws the paragraph together. So we've got introduction moving with the number of body paragraphs you want according to your topic and the task. Conclusion. The conclusion paragraph is the last paragraph in the essay. It completes the essay by summarizing and or repeating the most important ideas. The conclusion can also include an opinion, a prediction or a solution to a problem. So we've got introduction, the number of body paragraphs as we said moving to the conclusion let's deal with an example and apply what we said on it i've got here a writing task that says you've been an international student in the u.s you faced some problems at the beginning but fortunately you were supported by three new friends write an essay about them and their great support to you so we're gonna organize our ideas first and we have to start with, yes exactly, the introduction. Here we've got the introduction for this topic. Going to a new school can be exciting, but for an international student, the years of education in a different country can be difficult. When I first arrived in the US to attend the university, I was overwhelmed and confused by everything new. Fortunately, I met three very special friends who made a positive impact on my life during those years and helped me survive the trials of being a foreigner in a completely different educational system. So we've got here two colors which represents two parts in this paragraph. The green one is the general statements as we said in the explanation of the introduction in which gives you the background of the situation and introduces you to the main idea. While the yellow part represents the thesis statement, which here gives you a hint about the main topic or the main idea you're gonna talk about. 
So this is the introduction. Let's deal with one of the body paragraphs. Of course, here he said three friends, so you're gonna write in the body three paragraphs, one paragraph supporting each friend, right? So we're gonna now deal with one as an example. One of the first people I met was Joe Freda. I first saw Joe standing in a line in a bookstore. I was having a difficult time finding the books for the English classes I was taking here. He not only helped me find my books, but he also gave me some good advice on where to get tutorial help on campus and where I could find some good restaurants. We've become better friends since then and he has been so helpful in answering any questions I have about going to school in the US. If I hadn't met Joe that day, I might still be looking for the right books for my classes. So exactly, this part is the topic sentence, which is one of the first people I met was Joe Freda. So this paragraph is going to talk about Joe. That's why we call it the topic sentence. While the sentences in black are the supporting sentences. And the last sentence is the concluding sentence in which I summed up the importance of the idea in this sentence. Of course, you're going to write two more paragraphs in the body. But now let's deal with the conclusion. The significance of the kindness that these three people showed me and the impact that it has made on my life during my experience as an international student at State University cannot be underestimated. I will never forget their friendship and will remember their examples of kindness to me whenever I encounter other foreigners in my own country. So we've got the green part here is the summary of the main ideas. And the yellow part here represents a promise or resolution. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video beneficial. And thank you. Bye.